Hi, so let's talk about something really important and something we can do something about remarkably easily. The UK Home Office estimates that the annual cost of crime against individuals and property businesses per year exceeds £36 billion. Pounds. That's over £36 billion pounds per year. We also know that the cost of reoffending per year is approaching £20 billion. Pounds. And finally, we know that around about 80% of repeat adult criminals began their criminal careers, so to speak, as minors. What can we do about this? So let's just look at the direct links that lead us to this situation. A number of studies have found direct lines from school exclusion to youth criminal behaviour. In one study, 50% of those in youth custody had been excluded from school. We also know that round about 61% of school exclusions are to do with special educational needs. And one report showed that if you have low reading proficiency by the, I think it's grade three or something, you are four times more likely to end up excluded from school than otherwise. Young offenders institutes have a dyslexia rate of somewhere between 31 and 57 percent. Uh, in fact, Dr. Neil Alexander Pass pointed out that while uh, youth offending rates are somewhere over 50 percent, the education that tends to be provided within youth offending institutions relies on reasonably high literacy levels. In other words, the kind of education that the youths in custody are getting are inappropriate for the kind of youths who are in the custody units. So if you're dyslexic, you're likely to be in youth custody. And if you're in youth custody, you're gonna be given education, but that education is wholly inappropriate to people with dyslexia. Who'd have thought it? And by the way, of this 56, 57% of, of youth offenders with dyslexia, only about 7% of them have previously had a dyslexia diagnosis. The chances of being given appropriate screening once you're in the system are incredibly low. And then what happens, of course, is that the, uh, the, the, the young criminals, these people who are, who, are, who are already in the system, they are adultified. They're looked upon as not minors anymore. They're looked upon as adults, as dangerous, as threatening. And this leads to, and there's a direct lead, to re-offending. And in fact, I mean, again, as Dr. Neil Alexander Pass pointed out, once you've got that criminal record, the chances of being able to reintegrate successfully back into society anyway are significantly lower. So what we have is we have what we already know is a link between dyslexia and low literacy, low literacy and exclusion, exclusion and young criminal behavior, a lack of dyslexia assessment, and then a pipeline deeper into crime, such that it's harder to escape the system. Another problem of the system, of course, is that once you're in that system, if you have dyslexia, being able to, as it were, navigate the, the, the administration processes of turning up in court or understanding what's expected of you is significantly harder. You've got reading issues, you've got executive function issues, you've got organisational issues. And so being able to mount a defence, being able to navigate the, the masses of letters that you receive, being able to understand what's, what's required of you is a lot harder for those people with dyslexia. I mean, in fact, what we already know is, is that people with dyslexia and, and other maybe cognitive differences find it harder to mount a self-defense, find it harder to understand concepts such as presumed innocence. And because of this, they find it more of a struggle to fight the system, to, to be able to, to mount a reasonable defense once they're in trouble. So I suppose one of the big questions is, what do we do about this? 
Remarkably, the answer is easy. I mean, it might be slightly difficult to implement it, but we know what to do, even if no one has yet managed to do it. We know that once in custody, where appropriate, and that is dyslexia appropriate education is provided, you can actually cut recidivism, that is reoffending rates, somewhere between a third and a half. That is amazing. If you, if you provide proper education, you can help prevent these kids from getting back into the criminal justice system. You can, pre you can prevent them from reoffending. So why don't we do it? We know the costs involved. The costs involved of crime are in the billions. The cost of reoffending are approaching 20 billion a year. And that's in the UK alone. And we know how to stop it by providing dyslexia appropriate education. The studies are clear. So all we need to do is make sure that the youth justice system knows how to educate those people who are in its care. If you'd like to talk about this, if you'd like to get into the conversation, then please do write to me. Otherwise, please share this video. It's a very important message because we know what the issues are. We know the costs to the country. We know the human costs and we know how to stop.